We've made it to 50. There it is. We've done it. Episode 50. Man. Uh, doing video for me is uh, a little bit easier than blogging. I used to blog and blog about real estate and it didn't go well. It's just, it was very hard. You'd spend two or three hours to write this article and then you'd get ranked in, in Google and you know, the people that were reading your article were from all over the world and they're not coming to your site for real estate. You know, they have no interest in using you as an agent. So that was tough. So, uh, but 50 episodes, uh, it means something to me. So today we're going to have, uh, we're going to have three things. We're going to have a confessional, we're going to have trivia, and then we're going to have a way forward because, uh, you know, we have to get better. We can't just sit here and accept this. <laughs> so I put it up on notes. Please don't, you know, criticize me too hard. I, I, there was so much stuff that I wanted to put down. I, I, I just wanted to get it on paper. I'm going to uh, pull that up and we'll just, we'll just go on down the line and, uh, and enjoy ourselves. Kind of reflect and relax and just enjoy. So here we go. So, uh, the first thing I wanted to go over is, is kind of what I've learned and believe it or not, there's really, there's really two things that I've learned that, um, you know, that have, you know, that have come to me over these, these 50 episodes. So the first thing is that editing and I are not friends. Um, I don't like to edit, don't want to edit. And, uh, I do my best not to. So if there's something wrong in a video, I pretty much just leave it. Um, the reason why I don't edit, number one, it, it, it's tough on my computer. I'm kind of, I'm kind of just barely getting by on, on my, uh, computer specs and it takes forever. <laughs> so, so, you know, when you're pumping out video once a, once a day during the, the week and eh, editing all that, that takes a lot of time. I have a lot of respect for the big YouTube channels. I mean, the guy's pulling in a hundred thousand views, but I suspect that they're not doing all the shooting all the editing and everything in one day. And if they are, um, it's, it's, they're doing a, they're doing a fantastic job, but I mean, I have my, my main job isn't YouTube. And so, gosh, if it was, would it change? No, I hate editing. <laughs> in fact, if this ever, if this channel ever monetizes, we're, we're getting an editor. There's, there's no question. Uh, so anyway, that's one of the things I've learned. I, I thought I, I thought as we would go, I would get better at it, but it hasn't happened. So, and then the second thing that I've learned is that there are channel experts everywhere on YouTube. And uh, oddly enough, the vast majority of the channel experts are affiliates to channel view SEO companies. Uh, so like, you know, there's this, you use this one software and uh, if you only, you know, and every, every person you read, it says, oh, this is the greatest one ever, or you use the other one. And everybody else says that's the greatest one altogether, and then they say, "Oh well, I'm an affiliate, and it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't impact what I think about this this software." And you know what? That that may be true, but I don't want to have anything to do with it. So, uh, if we stay small because I didn't um, optimize a tag, uh, or because no one saw my videos, uh, that's just the way it's going to be. I don't I don't have any interest in this. Uh, you know, people come to YouTube looking for advice and looking for things like that. And then they're getting bought off 15 different ways and don't even know it. So I don't, I don't want to play that particular game. There's a lot of games I don't want to play and we'll kind of go, go through it. So those are the two things I've learned. Now, time for the confessions. That's, it's tough for me to admit stuff. So here's, here's number one. I, I never thought I would have 50 episodes. I originally started working on the podcast three years ago. And I did test episodes and they were so bad and I was so embarrassed that I, I was, I, I just, I could not put up that garbage on the screen. And it was so embarrassing that, uh, I didn't, I stopped doing it. I stopped even trying for like a year. 
and then the coronavirus hit and my kind of life circumstances changed a little bit and that made it a little more tough. But, um, once I, I saw some other, uh, YouTubers, you know, with their format and it looked like something that I could pull off. And so, uh, I ended up changing the background completely. I ended up changing the format and, uh, this time everything's kind of taken off. Um, it's, it's the way I've got it set up. It's easy for me to shoot a video. And, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised. I normally I give up on after about eight tries, I normally give up. So this is, this is much better than normal. Number two, uh, I'm enjoying building a community much more than I would have thought. Uh, I feel a sense of accomplishment when I get an episode published. So like during the week, I could be really busy. There could be, we could be negotiating on uh, deals. I could be taking buyers and buyers out and, and talking to, uh, to new people. And, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like the day's complete anymore until I get a video done. And, and when I say done, I mean published. Um, it just, there's like a sense of accomplishment and it's like kind of a relief from my normal job. I know we talk about real estate and I know we talk about all kinds of things uh, involved with real estate, but uh, it's somehow not having to, you know, when I like during this time in the 50, I've lost at least three real estate deals and they were cr crushing me. But I was able to come on and do a video um, and and it sort of made things okay in, in a strange sort of strange sort of way. So uh, I'm enjoying it and I, and I hope you, you know, continue to be part of the community and I hope you, you know, put comments in the comment section and we have a lively, a lively community that we can just enjoy. And then number three, uh, I don't know if you know this, but I've avoided some stories. Um, I typically won't do stories on like neighbor murder. Uh, I don't think it's funny. It's, it's sad and it's very real, but it's just not something that I want to have anything to do with. Um, and then another one is, uh, real estate agents are definitely at a risk for, for their own safety when they're showing homes or when they're meeting clients for the first time. So it, I would do a story on a real estate, like violence situation, but more to inform, but not because it's funny. So if that's, if that's what it would be, it would be more of an advocate situation. Um, I, I know agents, I mean, I don't personally know, but I know of agents that have been murdered and on the job and it just, it just makes me sick. So that's, that's not something I would normally do a video on. And then finally, um, I, I, I tend to tread on stories on race relations, uh, sexual orientation or, or heavy politics. Uh, I, I consider those very carefully before I'll do one. Um, the, that principle, it's, it's kind of problematic to the uh, format on YouTube where I'd most likely be rewarded if I threw all those, you know, bombs all over the place. Uh, after all, the more anger and more controversy, the better engagement. But that's not really who I am, and I'm uncomfortable with, with using uh, larger societal issues and problems for my own benefit. Uh, I want to keep things light, and I want to have fun. So there have been some times when there's been something in the news that I, that I could certainly uh, talk about, but it's just, it's, you're not, you're not going to solve anything by talking about it. I mean, there's, you know, tons of people that already talk about it. So why do I need to, and you know, I've noticed, I've noticed some things like one of them is, is if you get banned from YouTube, depending on who your audience is, that's a badge of honor. So, and I know that people, I know, I know there's people making money off the fact that they just got banned from YouTube. And then there's other people that, uh, that are more than happy to, f you know, find something in your, in your, your content that could be banned, uh, very evil, you know, evil people. So that's not, that's not who I am. I don't like that kind of stuff. So like I said, I want to keep things light and have fun and, uh, you know, we'll talk about things, but I don't see any reason to, to jump kind of over, over what I'd be comfortable with or my line. So now we have some trivia and, uh, I was, I was curious. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't have the ability to play music on these things, but I'll, I'll wait for like four seconds. I can look on my little screen here and, uh, here we go. So trivia question number one, what was the least viewed episode out of the first 49? I'll wait. Maybe you can look it up on the playlist. Ready? Okay. That would be episode number 20, Scallion Thief. 
It was a rather heartwarming story from Asia about a neighbor who had stolen scallions and the, controver the controversial court case, uh, primarily because of the researches, resources that they used to do the court case. And then the owner statement with regards to her scallion neighbor thief saying, the thief should have just asked me for the scallions. And as her neighbor, I would have just given them to her. And that hit me that 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 affected me that, you know, do we have to, right now in St. Louis, we're having the ca uh, catalytic converter th thefts. Would I give my neighbor a catalytic converter if it helped them? Probably. But if they steal it from under my car in the middle of the night, that's a whole different issue. Uh, but I but I did think that the principle was important. I mean, you know, you can ask if it's your neighbor and they're a good neighbor and, you, you know, you can help them out and they can help you out. I think you should go for it. Uh, don't steal from your neighbor. That's just wrong. So question number two. Between men and women, who do you think is the main audience for my channel so far? Here, I'll count to nothing because I don't want to count. <laughs> the answer is 78% men. Uh, that's the statistic that YouTube gives me. I don't believe it. I certainly would have thought it would have been closer to 50 50. I, I mean, 78%, like my last video had 91% men, 8%. I mean, that leaves like 8% women. It's hard to believe that it would be that skewed. Don't you think? I think, I don't know if anybody else does, but, uh, anyway, uh, the next one, what is my average view duration for the channel? So when somebody comes and watches one of my videos, how long do they stay to watch it? The average view duration is one minute and 37 seconds. So most of my videos are longer than 10 minutes. So today's going to run easily longer than 10 minutes. So that's not great. So are they watching the video and then just leaving because they hate me immediately? Are they waiting to hate me and then leave? Or maybe they just aren't interested in the topic? I don't know, but it's, it's pretty terrible that, uh, that, that they're only watching for a minute and 37 seconds. And then... The next one, what is the top age demographic so far? So if you could think of just, you know, who's watching my videos? And this surprised me, 25 to 34, age 25 to 34. So I'm surprised, but I'm thankful that anybody's watching. Uh, and to be watched by a younger demographic, it, it kind of humbles me because um, my own kids don't listen to me. So why would... <laughs> Why would someone else? But uh, it's a different dynamic, I'm sure. So anyway, I did wonder, though, is, you know, have, have, have younger people just figured out how great YouTube is as far as entertainment? And then older people are still watching, like, cable TV? I don't know. But anyway, that's that. So finally, we have seven points of where do we go from here? Okay. Because I'm sure you're curious. I'm, I kind of have it a little bit mapped out. But... But number one, our subscriber count is pathetic. <laughs> the count is pathetic, but my subscribers mean the world to me. We're not going to stay at 29 forever. And I hope that you come with me on the journey to 50, 100, 1,000. Who knows? We have to get this number up. One of the things I've enjoyed doing on YouTube is, is watching other channels when they kind of make it. You know, you start to see this guy and he's struggling and then, or girl, and they struggle. And then they finally kind of break through and then everybody comes. I mean, it's like a wave. I know Attorney Tom is, I mean, he went from like 350 to 425,000 subscribers in less than a month. I mean, it, it's impressive. So am I ever going to get that big? No, probably not. But boy, I, I would think that I could get more than 29 subscribers. So uh, the other thing is I'm probably going to fold a frame. So I'm going to do the, I'll show you the, the no frame right now. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, the reason why is, um, no one calls, no one emails, and it's hard to just get a comment on the video that isn't spam. So the frame goes. Uh, we're still going to have the contact information in the de description below. You know, you still be able to, to reach out with your stories, but I don't need the frame anymore. Um, I kind of like it. I think it looks clear, and uh, hopefully you do too. I, I maybe have to center it a little bit more. But anyway, that's, that's something. Uh, number three, I might change out the microphone. Uh, either a stand one or change this position it, it seems like i don't know because it's backwards but it seems like this arm takes up a lot of space in the frame and uh but i don't want to be doing this 
because I don't know if you've noticed, there's not a lot of hair up there. And I don't think anybody wants to be staring at my bald head. So uh, that might be something I do. And uh, I might cut the intro down and move the intro to the outro. Uh, the reason being, sometimes by the time my intro is done, people have already left. So I say one word, the intro goes off, and then by the time the intro is done, they're gone, which is terrible. <laughs> so that's something I, I've been looking at. I, I'm, I can't pull it tomorrow because I, to, I have to get somebody to edit it because I'm that bad at editing. But don't be surprised if it change, changes definitely before the 100th episode, okay? Um, I am fighting some things. Uh, number one, I don't want to be sponsored by any company uh, in video promotions, uh, stuff like that. If I mention a product or a service, you should know that it comes with no affiliate revenue or sponsorship revenue to me. Uh, if that does change in the future, I'll tell you ahead of time. Now, you can laugh because at 29 subscribers, nobody's asking for an affiliate, uh, you know, uh, uh, an in-video promotion for me. Okay. And uh, I don't, I mean, I don't even think I could do the, the affiliate revenue because I, I have no interest in, you know, kind of selling myself out like that. But if I ever do, I will tell you first. And number two, uh, YouTube is all about catchy thumbnails and clickbait titles. And I don't want to do it. There's only two ways I can do it. You know, I can go forward though. I can do no clickbait titles, but then I need my subscribers to tell their friends and subscribe so we don't have to depend on organic search as much. Or I have to go clickbait on my titles. Please don't make me go clickbait. I, I really don't want to, but I don't, I mean, I think if you've watched YouTube for a while, I think you know who's really, there's some people that are really good at it. And I don't even know how they don't get into more trouble. I mean, when you say a major corporation is shutting down, okay, and you put that in your thumbnail and in your, in your description, and then they're not shutting down. Or, you know, you say you're going to, say you're going to jail. That one's a good one. Or you say you're going to die of cancer. I mean, that's awful clickbaity, and that's just not something I want to do. Number three, um, I like to tell a story or discuss something from beginning to end, and I don't want to use tricks like saying I have a super important announcement at the end of the video just so you watch until the end. Um, I hate that. I hate that when I watch videos, and I don't want to do it. Uh, another thing they do is they'll number every video by a countdown. So I'll say like the top 10 this, the top three this, and it'll be, it'll be like something like, top things wrong with buying your house in the spring and I don't want to do that so I don't want to do clickbait titles and I don't want to do things I don't want to keep you watching the video for some ending that's terrible so don't make me do that and the only thing I can say is you're not going to make me do it because I'm this is fun for me I don't I don't care so uh, one thing I've noticed uh, is that I've seen a lot of real estate channels and no one is watching them and then the question is why? Well, it's because no one cares about real estate tips or tricks if you aren't actively looking to buy or sell a home. And I get that. I don't, I, the real estate marketing is weird out there. Um, you know, you see buying, selling, contact us now. Okay. Or I'll give you a free home uh, seller estimate or I'll, we'll talk about our marketing plan or all this stuff. And it's like nobody wants to hear that stuff when you're not, you know, actively buying or selling your house. They just don't. And, and I get that. So uh, we aren't a real estate specific channel we branch out we talk about neighbors terrible real estate agents and terrible real estate deals and reactions to things i see online um, but you can help on those things um, put a comment in the sec in the comment section below or send me your bad neighbor or agent stories i know they're out there and the reason why i know they're out there is people tell them to me all the time like when we're sitting down having uh, dinner or you know if i'm out talking to somebody else or if i've met with a client and they're just like oh my god you're so much better than the last agent i had um, so they're, and so they're out there. Just, I, I won't put your name on it. Just tell me. And then the last big announcement that I didn't tell you about in the beginning, because, um, I'm not that person is that we're going to live stream, uh, at least once a week. And I don't know how, and I don't know when, and I don't know the format, but it's going to happen. Uh, as you know, my videos aren't edited. Uh, I actually appreciate the realness of them. Uh, when something is heavily, heavily scripted and produced, it seems like very fake. So I'm pretty sure I can pull off a live stream because I don't do too much editing and it's something to look forward to. Uh, we may end up with a super sp small crowd. Like there may be only two people on the live stream. I mean, if I got 29 subscribers and four of them are at work all day and I do the, do the live stream in the middle of the day, they're not going to watch it and that's okay. I will put the, I will put the recordings up, but, um, we're going to give it our best shot. And so be on the lookout for that soon. I, is it going to be before episode 75? I don't know. 
but anyway, I just want to say thanks for everything. It's our it's our fiftieth uh, special. See, I mean, I've already gone twenty minutes. I mean, it's been like that. The time in my head has been like five minutes. So maybe I don't know. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the fiftieth special. We might look back on this as you know on at, at episode one hundred as this was the best special ever. I hope it only gets better. Um, so thank you all. Thank you all for, for watching the first video and thank you all for, for staying with me and thank you for coming aboard. And, uh, it's something to be excited about 50 episodes. Never would have thought it. Thank you so much. And I will catch you on the next one.